Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, I got a new toy. It's the new Technofiber Ergo One stringing machine. So this was super easy to put together. It's basically three pieces, the top, this little stand here, and then the base. Two bolts on the, for the base, two bolts for the top. So I pretty much put this together in five, 10 minutes max. So this is the ultimate stringing machine if you're on the road stringing for tournaments or if this is what you do for a living and you need to go on the road and you know maybe string for college teams or the pros, um, this is great. It's actually uh, super light, super easy to use. It actually has a carrying case too, which I don't have, but uh, it's kind of like a check-in bag for the airport. It all fits in this luggage thing and is protected. So again, Tech the Fiber Ergo One machine. Now, I'm gonna show you what they gave me. They gave me this cute little pouch, which I love. It's probably the, I like this the most. I'm just in the purses, I don't know what it is. But anyways, that's a different story. <laughs> so it came with a thick awl for those people who do this. Don't wanna ruin your manicure. You got your uh, starting clamp or your extender, however you wanna use that. You got your garden shears or your string cutters. Either one, whatever, you can cut a freaking limb off a tree if you really want to with that. Uh, string cutter, nail clipper if you need to. Tie knotter, you know, for the knots. This is your needle nose curved plier. And your regular awl for finding the path to your knots. That's about it, but I like the pouch. Okay, all right. So the first thing I wanna go over with this machine is how to raise the height. So I spent probably 10 minutes um, loosening this, which is now loose, right? And then I had my feet stepping on the base and I'm lift, trying to lift it to get it higher, right? To get it taller. Well, that's not how it works. After reading the manual, there's a hydraulic, there's a hydraulic in this base. So as long as I get it loose first, this is what you do. Check it out. You push it down. So if I'm like two feet tall, I'm a string at this height and then I lock it up. But since I'm like five foot eight, right? Here we go. It's getting taller for me, right? So I probably want it at that height. So I'll lock it in at this point. But you push it down and it'll raise back up now because that was that was pretty confusing but now I, I figured it out okay so these posts for the six point um for the six points of holding the racket moves so i like to keep one pretty locked in so this is already locked in this won't move on this one I like to keep it like movable until I put a racket in here. So I'm going to grab a racket, T Fight 300, new RS. This is my favorite racket of the line. And I line it up. So over there, right? I hold tension here, right? And then I, on the bottom, there's a knob that I'm locking up now. So make sure. That's tight. I double check this one, that's tight. Now I tighten up the other four points here just by turning these. Make sure it's nice and firm. Okay. Make sure the racket doesn't jiggle. Okay. Okay. So I'm ready to string now, just like that. 
So this is what the screen looks like on the Ergo One. Um, pounds, pounds key. If you want kilos, you just press down and it automatically changes the pounds to kilos. So 52 pounds, 23.5 kilos. Now, if you wanted to change the tension, you hit clear, 550. Now it's 55 pounds, okay? So you change it back to kilos is 24.9 kilos. Switch it back. So just hit clear and the tension and it will go to whatever tension you'd like. Now, this is the knot feature. So when you're ready to tie your knot, you press the knot feature. That automatically adds five pounds to it for one pull. If you wanted it higher, just go higher. You can go six, set. Six is the highest, it looks like. Yep, six is the highest. Button here is for the, they call it the cross. Um, to under tension it so you can only have it less than the mains uh, So if you want minus one you can do that minus two you can do that up to six Yep, so one to six less poundage than the mains And then the last button is the speed you can go one two or three how fast you want this head to, to string this racket. I always like it fast, so I choose three. So I want this head to be moving as fast as it can so that I can string this racket a little quicker. So, but you can choose uh, one, two, or three. And then there's also a pre-stretch feature. Uh, if you want 5% pre-stretch, 10% pre-stretch, or 15% pre-stretch. Actually, even 20% pre-stretch. So if you're doing gut and you want a pre-stretch, you can set the percentage of the pre-stretch that you would like. Okay, so back to zero. All right, so I'm gonna be stringing this T-Fight 300 RS with one of the best new strings on the market, this Technofiber Triax in the 17 gauge, one, two, eight millimeters. Because this, the mains end on the bottom, I'll be doing it two pieces. So two piece string job here. So I'm going through the first mains right now. Okay. Starting up the mains. I'm at 50-50 now. I love that these are easily slidable. Get my insurance here, clamp it there. Do my first cross, or first main, do my first main. Actually, I love how solid this machine feels. It's a uh, really pretty stable machine like all the parts are like metal and those of you who are trying to figure out your ergo one if you just got one of these or are thinking about it so this thing is a leveler but you don't go over it you go under it, right? And then into the chamber, and make sure you get it into that last chamber. And you do that. All right, take the insurance off. here so you tighten up the the clamps here okay and you can tighten up this clamp underneath too but they those seem to be pretty tight right now
You guys probably see that this, this thing is shaking a little bit. Well, I have it at its tallest, tallest setting, and this thing's kind of thin. Um, this floor is probably not even, so uh, that's why it's moving. Plus, I'm a little rough on it, too. All right, so last two mains. We're going to do the knot feature. So I press the knot button, which... I want five pounds, so so five pounds on the knot feature. So five pounds extra. Five pounds extra. Because it only pulls once for you. that Technofiber has these fatter holes here on their rackets to uh, to tie the knots to protect the to protect the grommets these extra bigger grommets I guess they're called caps as you guys call them I like to use this thing towards me up away towards me Same on the other side. Okay. Over, around, and through. Now hitch. Done with the mains. All right, so I'm gonna start the crosses. So I always like to do one cross first through, just so I don't waste time trying to tie a knot first and then running it through. This is what I do. I make sure it reaches the machine. There it is. One great thing about Technofiber rackets, they always have the stringer in mind. They're always thinking about the stringer. You guys can string however you want. This is just the way I do it. This is also the safest way to preserve gut because gut doesn't like starting knots. So literally I'm pulling this to give tension to that. I will back, I will at the end pull tension on this too. So basically I got three crosses done already um, before having to pull anything. But again, you guys can do however you want. This is just how I do it. A little tip off of that.
For those of you who don't know, try to go base clamp first before you go clamp. That way there's no pressure on the, uh, the actual string when you just release that. Because sometimes it won't just drop. Most of the time it won't just drop. And yes, I'm hard on this machine because I'm trying to go fast. at the end not feature add my five pounds as it's blinking so now 57 on the mains excuse me on the crosses last cross on the bottom so it's 57 pounds pulling get that locked down so see it, it kind of went off by itself you're only allowed to get one pull on that. So again, Technofiber makes rackets make it easy for you um, by making these, putting these little big uh, grommets, maybe caps is what they call it, I guess. Uh, so I could not ruin the uh, the grommet itself. done there now I double back to over here take that put some tension on that take that back I come back to this one I hit the knot feature so it's 57 pounds put tension on that don't need that anymore You guys can string them however you want. I'm just showing you the, the machine, basically. And this machine has been really easy to use. This is actually just the second time I've strung on it, so I'm still trying to gather my bearings for, through it. Okay. There it is. Okay, let's get it off by undoing the six, taking the one that has the most access, and undoing that. And we're set. That was it. That was easy. See? See the string job? Don't need to straighten it. Don't need to do anything. It is straight. Couple things about the Ergo. Um, this is a hand crafted stringing machine, as it says here, since 1949. These parts are solid, like metal, uh, including this head here. So, like I said, this is the second uh, racket I've ever done on this machine. It's very user friendly. Uh, the only thing I wasn't used to was this part here. Um, you kind of have to go under under this and then drop it down into here. But I figure a racket or two more and I will get used to this, this mechanism. So 
easily transported. I would say, let's see how much this thing weighs. Maybe 20, 20, 25 pounds. I mean, if you wanted to lift this to a tournament yourself, I guess you could, but they, you could buy like a, like I said, a suitcase for this machine. Um, and then you can join me at a tournament. We can string out the ATP tournaments is where Technofiber is the official sponsor. Um, hold tight. See, look, they're the official sponsors and they're official stringers of the, uh, the men's tour, the ATP. So if you wanna join me and, and use one of these machines, let's go, all right? Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.